is the Emergency Medical Minute. Okay, so I got this friend. Uh, this friend had cough, myalgias, low-grade fever, body aches back in January. So what does he have? Hey, you know, treated his flu, didn't, didn't respond. Uh, kept persisting with his symptoms. So finally uh, went to a, a doctor who will remain nameless and uh, based on a history was able to get some testing done to find out this guy's problem. So when, when someone comes in and you have uh, some curious symptoms and you're trying to work through it, it's, it's always good to get a history of well, where do they work, what kind of contacts they've had, unusual foods, travel type history. So going through that, as it turns out, this guy lives here but works in Pennsylvania, flies back every week, works Monday through Friday. Nothing was really showing up. But as it turns out, the guy has a house outside of Phoenix uh, and spends some time down there. There's, an, there's a particular disease uh, that um, people get uh, down in the Southwest US in the, in the arid desert. Anyone have a thought? Not, not Hanta, what? So it's like, uh, yeah, so a desert rheumatism or valley fever or the, the technical name is coccidioidomycosis. And it's a fungal infection. People inhale it. And the thought is that hundreds of thousands of people are infected every year just in Arizona alone. But it's a reportable disease. Only about 5,000 get sick enough where they test it and find it. But that's a significant number. Uh, most people recover, do well. It's more common in people over 40 than it is in younger people. What happens is you inhale the spore, spore grows in your lungs, uh, little tiny baby spores break open and then disseminate into the lung tissue. Rarely does it disseminate through the body. Uh, most people recover spontaneously without difficulty, but people who have the disseminated infections have to go on the azole type drugs or even IV amphotericin for treatment. So it's a good reminder to us that not every flu appearance is flu. There are other particular things that can cause disease in people. Uh, this particular gentleman, unfortunately, is not responding to his medications and is one of those very few, certainly less than 1%, who get quite sick from this disease, but, but a pretty common disease. Interestingly, even though we share some of the same desert environment as Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, and Southern California, where this particular fungus tends to live. It's not a reportable disease in Colorado. Okay. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.